Excuse me, white bunny with red eyes. You're on my bookshelves. Ah, oh, good. You have to keep your bookshelves safe, you know. You see, knowledge is the real treasure. That's why I spend most of my day protecting my bookshelves. Does anyone have some bookshelves I can borrow, please? Anyone? Uh... On the table, Minecraft action figures from Jazzwares Series 4. Wow, I didn't think we'd see Series 4 until like 2026. Here they are filtering out about. We can finally figure out how they did the Steve with chainmail armor. Looks much more simplified than I would have ever done. And there's a librarian over there. And bunnies. Landry, there's a killer bunny behind you. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Maybe just turn around? I got stuff to do. Darn. Well, also, there's an evoker over on that right side. What do we pick first? Something extremely exciting, right? The librarian with bookshelves. On the back of the card, we have an image of a librarian on a walkabout. Not hanging out in a village, it looks like. Possibly lost. And other figures available, we have Alex with Elytra wings, which I think I have. I'm just waiting for finding a stray. Steve with chain armor. Evoker and bunnies. Librarian. Passive mobs. If lightning strikes near a villager, it will turn into a witch. Fact. Librarians always wear white robes and will offer enchanted books in trade. Good to know. Let's see these bookshelves up closer, see if they're up to my standards of bookshelves. Ah, there we go. Outside of the package, it is the librarian. Shh. Ah, library. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, you're, you're not supposed to talk too louder on this guy with the bookshelves and all. So, yeah, we have the librarian here. This is an interesting looking villager, probably our second villager in the series of Jazzwares Minecraft figures. If you recall, we've seen a blacksmith before, but I don't think we've seen any other villagers yet other than this new librarian. Give us a quick spin, won't you, librarian? All around, looking like a villager, looks to be a pretty nice little action figure from Jazzwares. So how about those bookshelves? Those are pretty nice. I'm counting seven books on the top shelf, maybe eight books on the bottom shelf. And there's books on all sides. That's interesting, I didn't see that coming. Oh look, more bookshelves. And there's even some more bookshelves in this Minecraft Village Biome Pack soon to be opened. The villager also comes with a map, it looks like. They are known cartographers. Uh-oh, looks like rain. <laughs> oh, oh no, it's a witch. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Splash potion. <laughs> <laughs> Next up to look at are three bunnies with a cake. Bunnies love their cake, especially when it's carrot cake. No, no good. Okay. On the back of the card, two bunnies hanging out pretty much near where the villager was hanging out. Bunnies. Type. Passive and hostile mobs. Behavior. If a player renames a rabbit to Toast, it will retexture to a black and white rabbit. Fact. The killer bunny used to be called the killer rabbit of Gaia Urbanog. Ah, nice Monty Python reference. Alright, let's hop these bunnies outside of the pack. And the five bunnies outside of the package. Three, sir. Three, three bunnies inside the package. In the center we have a brown bunny. Looks like Toast is over there on the left. And over on the right is the uh, killer rabbit of Karen Banog. I am impressed they placed five rabbits in this pack at uh, three rabbits. They could have easily got away with two of them, but they were generous and gave us three bunnies. But what's the articulation like on these guys? Well, so far I'm only detecting the head. Huh, that's gotta hurt. But it doesn't look like there's any other points of articulation in there. Their back legs almost give this look like you could spring them a little bit. But that's not going to happen the way their front feet are placed. 
Toast is looking exceptionally cute over there, the killer's bunny's eyes are pretty haunting, and the brown rabbit is a good middle of the road toy. Of course we have an item included, it is a cake. The all stomach filling cake of 14 hunger shanks, 7 slices of pure bliss with berries on top. Very delicious. Kind of a cool inclusion to have that cake, which makes the set hop so much more. So if you're looking for bunnies, check out the bunnies pack. Just don't go too close to that red one. Next up, Steve with Chain Armor. Finally, we get to see how this works. On the back of the box, Steve chaining about. Other figures available. Steve with Chain Armor. Type the player. Behavior. A player can repair their chain armor by adding iron ingots via an anvil. Fact. Chain armor is not craftable, but you can trade for it with villagers. Let's get this out, see what we're up against. And outside of the package, Steve with Chain Armor, there it is. For surely much more simplified than I would first imagine. I thought they were going to somehow have to glue each chain piece onto him, or make the figure very textured, but it turns out they were thinking simple with transparency secondary pieces added on. And it looks like we can remove some of these. Let's see what we can do here. Try the helmet first. There we go. Sure enough, a transparent clear helmet made to look like chain armor with the squares. Where I was really trying to figure out how they were going to do were the boots. In many of the other armored figures, the boots are just built into the plastic. So it looks like now we actually have a boot piece to take off. Oops. There we go. It's making me wish that that's how they worked with all the armor now. <coughs> oh, uh, sorry, Steve. And sure enough, you can also remove his front chain armor. And I imagine we can get these, uh, well, maybe not. These might be kind of stuck. Oh, there we go. And there we go. Whoops. Steve's having a tough time standing now that all the armor's off. Well, look at all that chainmail armor. That is really cool. Now they're going to have to re-go back and redesign all the other figures. Well, let's get this armor back on. Ah, there we go. Looks like the figure also comes with a flint and steel item. We can light some stuff on fire now. And we also have another shield included. Always good to have another shield. There's a lot of stuff with this figure pack. Definitely one to look for. And let's bring in some of the other Steves to compare some armor with. There's Steve in gold armor. And now Steve with iron armor. Steve in leather armor. And Steve in enchanted diamond armor. I don't believe, and I think I got this mixed up last time as well, we have seen a Steve in iron armor yet. But from the assortment on the table right now, we have a lot of armor to choose from. Hello, Steve. Hello. Hi, Steve. Hello, Steve. Mind if I say hello, too? I don't mind. Hello, Steve. Hello. Hey there, Steve. Hi. Hey, Steve. You're really far away, Steve. I know. You're close by, though. Yes, Steve. Hello. Hello there, Steve. Did somebody say hello there, Steve? I think someone did. Is it Steve from afar? Hello over there, Steve. Hello. Good to see you. Yes. Yes. And you too. I think we've already said hello. Have we? I am so confused. Well, goodbye, Steve. Goodbye, Steve. May I say goodbye, Steve, too? No, no, guys. Just, just stop. Stop right there. No more. Okay? No more. Bye, Steves. We'll end on scary evoker. On the back of the card, Evoker hanging out a little later at night. Evoker, type hostile mobs. Behavior, Evokers will run away from a player until they are ready to cast a summoning spell. Fact, when in combat, Evokers have two attacks to choose from. Fang attack and Vex summoning. Sounds like a nice fellow. And remove. And there be our favorite Illager Evoker, Summoner of all things vexing, and Dropper of Totem of Undying. 
Another good figure pack with lots of stuff to look at. The first thing I want to see is the Evoker's arms. They look a little less connected than, say, the Librarian's. Can we move them out? Well, looky there, they can move. Aha, very nice. All around a pretty good looking fancy Evoker figure. Should be somewhat welcomed into your Jazzwares action figure collection. Now one of the things Evokers loves to do is invite people over for great cooking and then maybe summoning a few Vexes. Here we have a tiny little flying Vex with a tiny sword, almost dagger sized. This Vex here has articulation pretty much similar to all the other Jazzwares figures up there in the neck, arms, and legs. The body size is pretty small and the head size is even smaller than what we saw with the past baby zombie. So it looks like mostly new toy all around. Hello! Hi! Oh, just don't get started. Alright! Then of course, if you can knock out an illager somehow, <coughs> it drops a totem of undying, which is very handy if you don't want to die. Look for the evoker figure if you enjoy summoning vexes, but not summoning fangs. Oh dear, now where did I place those? And there are the Minecraft action figures we saw today. Another great assortment, Series 4 is looking good. Now all I have to find is the Stray and Alex with Elytra wings. I think there's an Alex with a boat, too. And maybe even an Alex in Iron Armor, or something like that. Maybe one day we'll look at those too. For now, just keep a close eye on your rabbits. Three is an easy number to take care of. But if they multiply for more, we're gonna have to get a few wolf dogs out here. Aw oh, man, that rabbit's toast. Minecraft Series 4 action figures from Jazzwares appear on store shelves early spring 2018. If you're looking for the Smarty Pants Librarian or the Grumpy Pants Evoker, now is your chance. And if you're also looking to chain up Steve and attack him with bunnies, now is your chance. Plus, there's a nice large cake to eat too. That's what I have to say about that. Squirrel cakes were commonly made in the 5th century to ward off evokers. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Huh, kind of depressed that the little killer bunny didn't do anything. Oh wait. Oh man. Oh no, look out the totem! Run, run! Move, move! Ah! See you next time.